how can I avoid the keto flu when beginning a low carb, high fat lifestyle? For most people, the key to this is just making sure that they are getting enough sodium. So uh, when you start a ketogenic lifestyle, you actually diurese, which means you get rid of excess water. Because when we're eating a lot of carbohydrates, believe it or not, our kidneys hold on to sodium. And when we decrease those carbohydrates, our kidneys will excrete excess sodium. And that can actually cause people to become sodium depleted. And so it's important for people to increase the sodium, especially early on in a ketogenic diet, to ensure that this does not happen. Because if you excrete too much sodium, it can cause you to feel tired. It can even give some people headaches. Um, and so again, increasing the sodium intake is important. Now, if you're someone with a history of high blood pressure, this is something that you want to talk to your physician about. Um, of course, um, you know, the goal with a ketogenic diet for many people who come and start with high blood pressure is to be able to improve that blood pressure enough to be able to get off blood pressure medications. And that happens very frequently. Many trials have shown this, including our large clinical trial. Uh, but again, physician supervision but, and making sure that you're getting enough soda, sodium intake, especially early on. And hydration. So and fluids hydration, to go along right. with the sodium. Fluids that balance. To go along. Mm -hmm.